Free Tool Tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebOS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Free Tool. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to retool.com or you can simply click the link on the description below and you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Retool, it is a development platform that allows users to build custom business software quickly and easily without coding. And Retool provides a drag and drop interface that allows users to connect building blocks to databases and APIs to build their own tools. And to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can avail, including the free plan, team, business, and enterprise plan. And below, it will show you the corresponding prices on each plan and the list of benefits or features it included. But in those options, I'm going to choose the free plan. And in order to do that, kindly proceed by clicking the Get Started button on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, you can start creating your account using your email address or your Google account. So I'm going to choose to continue with my Google account. So kind of click on it and you will be directed on this page. And from here, the next thing that you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, including your full name and also the name of your organization. And proceed by clicking the continue button below. And after that, all you need to do is to select your answer to their question and proceed by clicking the continue button below. Well, for the next question, do you have use case in mind? You can select yes or no depending on your choice and just click the continue button to proceed. And after that, from here, it will ask you what are you building? And some of the example that you can enter is admin panel, dashboard, customer portal, and many more. But I'm going to enter here admin panel and just click the continue button to proceed. Well, from here, the next thing that you need to do to invite technical collaborators is by simply entering their email address in here. Or you can just skip this part. And after that, you will be directed on this page. In which from here, you can start customizing your first app using some of the editing tools on the left side panel. However, if you want to go back to the home page of this platform, just click the icon on the top left corner. And from here, just proceed by clicking back to home. In which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And from here, you will see a variety of options that you can start navigating on the top panel, including the apps, resources, database, workflows, and any other option on the top panel. And under the apps option, from here, you will be able to build and deploy custom web and mobile apps for your businesses. While under the resources option, from here, you will be able to manage and configure the connections between Retool and the data sources used by the apps. And as you can see here, we have some of the tool, including Retool Email, Retool AI, Retool Vectors, and Retool Database. While under the Database option on the top panel, this option will provide a fast, secure solution for saving and editing data to use in Retool apps. And also, Database option in Retool also allows users to connect to other databases and make them available as a resource in Retool. And aside from those options, you could also navigate the query library in which this option will allow you to create, run, and share queries across the organization and between Retool apps, in which queries in the library are similar to functions in programming and can be used to perform complex operations on data from various data sources. And if you want to add the queries, just click this new button in here, in which upon clicking on it, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information on the right side panel, such as the resource, the action type, and other required fields that are needed to fill out. And also, the query library option also allows users to import queries from the library into any Retool app and to share queries with other users or teams. And aside from those options on the top panel, you could also navigate the workflows, in which by simply clicking on it, from here, you will be able to build, schedule, and monitor jobs, alerts, and to automate business logic without the need for user interaction. And from here, you will be able to see the number of active workflows, the bandwidth use, and also the total workflows runs. 
Now to start creating an app on this platform, just go back to this app section right here. And below, you can proceed by clicking create web app or create mobile app. But I'm going to choose to create a mobile app, so kind of click on it. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to enter the app name. So let's say I'm going to enter here sample app and proceed by clicking create app button below. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And all you need to do is to wait for it to load until all of the components of your application is visible. And from here, you will see on the left side panel some of the editing tools that you can use in customizing your app. And now, you can now see some of the elements that your applications contain. And on the right side panel, it will show you the whole content or screen including the title, the interactions, the right action, and other details about this screen. And by simply clicking on it, you'll be able to customize some of the content, including the shape of the picture or the images that contain on the screen. You can customize the shape from square to circle, and you will see the changes on the screen. And aside from that, you could also customize the appearances and other elements that contain on this screen. And aside from that, by clicking the component tree option on the left side panel, from here, it will show you the total screen that your application contain, such as navigation, people list screen, and other components. And aside from that, you could also try to navigate some of the button and the option on the phone or on the screen to experience what the users would be able to experience or see when they use the apps that you're currently creating. And from here on the left side panel, if you want to add the components, just click the plus button right here. And it will show you some of the components that you can add, including a patterns, a text, a forms, and many more. So let's say I'm going to add the list of collection right here. And upon clicking on it, you will see the changes that happen in which the list of collection has now been added on this screen. And aside from those options, you could also navigate other options on the left side panel, including this code option, in which by clicking on here, you will see the code of the algorithm that your apps contain, and those code including the commands of how your applications would work, and you will see it under the state option. And aside from that, you could also navigate the code search, in which you will be able to search for a specific code, snippets, or functions within the retool apps. Well, under the history option right here, from here you will be able to track changes made to the app and to revert the previous versions if necessary. While under the app settings, from here you can manage and configure various settings related to the retool app, such as configuration variables, resources, and app settings. And if you are now done customizing your app, you could also share this app by clicking the share button on the top panel. And aside from that, by clicking the three dots on the top right corner, from here it will show you additional options that you can do to your application. Now going back and sharing this app by clicking this button, all you need to do is to enter the email address of the recipient or alternatively you can proceed by copying the link and send it to your friends or the recipient through email, messenger, or any other platform. So that is just how you can use Retool. Thank you.